soft stories. 43rd Foundation Day of Anju observed. As long as threat to media remains, facts will remain elusive, says Chief Minister Okram Ibubi. And Arunachal Chief Minister Pema Khandu quits Congress with 43 party MLAs and launches People's Party of Arunachal. Hello and welcome to ISTB English News. I'm Subla Kangabum. Let's see the news in detail. The 43rd Foundation Day of All Manipur Working Journalists Union, Amju, was observed at Manipur Press Club today. Chief Minister Okram Ibubi, President of Amju, Wankim Chashamjai, Director of IPR, Mega Chandra Kongbam, and veteran journalists K. Madhu Mangol were present as the main dignitaries. The gathering led by Chief Minister paid a floral tribute to the late journalist who contributed immense help in forming the union. Veteran journalists and families of those journalists who claimed their precious lives were presented simple gifts at the function. Speaking at the function, Chief Minister Okram Ibubi said, The responsibility of journalists in a complex state like Manipur is enormous and challenging one. He added that a society without media is useless. Mass media is taking major responsibility in paving way of different plans and policies of government. Accuracy and genuineness of every issue cannot be brought about until and unless media are given freedom. All disturbances and threat to media persons should be stopped, he added. It's just like a complete dark hygienist. Sida Aran Batore, Sida Afa Batore, Sida Pata Batore, I have seen. Even Gomen Hova Idi Preski is in now Sina, Karihani Alaman Hainaba, Himai Chumba Hibro, Preski is in now Sina, Masi, Sumna Degi Atayate, Lairiba, Koigi, Societies Data, Maruina, Koigi Ganatan Tresat Palai Baxi, the D, Masaigi, Hoi. Marisuba pillar ni democracy sa pada hai gudo adusu kapni ngay later wakom aduna koi layriba miyut na sa son tauba ganatandra sa pala iba kadi Manipur ibi ay ama ibi ay ama ibi ay koi sarkar suhi mai sumba sarkar gi ibi ay sarkar gi missionaries ibi ay minister ibi ay mili ibi ay or sarkar gi missionaries nito official ibi ay. Around the top of the zoo. freedom of expression, speech, constitutional granted to the zoo. A question of practically, freely, Hungo and the Vase. Masia, I think he like a TV. Director of IPR Megatender Kongbum said, journalists play a pivotal role in marching towards development. The status of journalists is becoming higher as compared to with the past. The director added that with the aim to upgrading the journalists of the state, IPR has been planning to organize short-term courses at various remotest villages to disseminate the knowledge of journalism to a certain extent. The department has also setting up plans to provide special provision for the welfare of journalists. He emphasized that a proposal has been sent to the government to form a welfare fund to lend help during any untoward incidents like sick, injury, accidents or the like for the journalist. ขณะสนาปติกาอุพรกะตะตอนนั้นบ่ไปคอยทรางลอยลอยเรบ่เมนสปะดิเซ็งชั่นตอกิดนะหันตะกีทาจิดิกิไอ้คนน่ะอุพ
All but one of its MLAs, including Chief Minister Pema Khandu, on Friday joined the People's Party of Arunachal Pradesh and the party faces the prospect of losing its government. Sources said Khandu, who two months ago became Chief Minister in a development that restored the Congress government, along with 43 Congress MLAs, joined the PPA and virtually converted it into a PPA government. The only MLA who was state with the Congress is Nabam Tuki, who was replaced as Chief Minister when the Congress, in an effort to control the rebellion in its ranks, replaced him with Khandu in July. It remains to be seen whether the PPA will align with BJP, which has 11 MLAs in the House. In the Assembly of 60, Congress has 47 LM MLAs, BJP 11 and 2 independent. Status of two Congress MLAs are yet to be decided as they put in their papers before the recent series of political developments that led to first Turkey government falling in January 2016 in position of president rule and installation of the late Kaliko Pool government for a short span. Pool, a Congress MLA and had committed suicide last month, was forced to resign in July following a Supreme Court judgment. Emily of Thangwebel Assembly Constituency, K.H. Joykishin, inaugurated the newly constructed shrine of Idho Wangamba and Ibenga Wangambi on DM College campus today. The sacred offering of Langban Tarpan as per Mitai customary was also offered today. It may be worth mentioning that the shrine was constructed under the funding of the MLA. Oh my Two artists of All India Radio Imphal have been given a grade. The two artists were identified as artists of North Sankritan, Aribam Gaitri and Pena artist Laisham Lebakmacha respectively. All India Radio Imphal expressed happiness over achieving a grade by the two artists and wished them to take up various developmental programs for the welfare of the Manipur music. The Lining Thau Pishatau Kut Haiba was worshipped widely in the state today. The ISTB network also offered prayers to the deity on the occasion. President of ISTB network P. Prafulo, executive members and staff of the network offered prayers in the digital control room of the network. The Langban Taratamba Apopa Kurumba ceremony organized by Lining Thau Sanamahi Temple Board was observed at Upong Yumpam Sanamahi Temple at Haying Kongban on the campus of First MR today. Devotees offered the florals and rice for prosperity on the occasion. BJP Executive Member Dr. K. S. H. Kala has said that the Congress-led state government is making all the efforts being made for the betterment of the people ineffective. He said this while attending a political conference organized along with the free medical camp at Ngairangbam Makalekai today. The free medical camp was organized by Women's Association Ngairangbam. Advisor to BJP Kundrapam Unit, I Mani, Secretary N Nilamani, Secretary of the Association L Inauba were also present at the political conference. On the other hand, more than 100 people were examined at the free medical camp under the supervision of Dr. K. S. H. Kala. Medicines were also provided to the patients free of cost during the medical camp. Dr. K. S. H. Kala further said, there are shortages in all the fields since the state government is led by Congress for a long time. Kundrakum Assembly constituency is ranking top on the list of backward areas of the state. The people of the constituency should support BJP candidates in the ensuing state assembly election in order to bring about development in the area.
The 47th short play competition organized by Theatre Centre Manipur in collaboration with Manipur State Kala Academy will be held during the first week of November. It is informed that interested registered theatre groups may apply through their respective letterhead on or before October 16. A joint action committee has been formed in protest against the death of Mutum Yaifaba of Chinamakong Tintam Likai. That body of Yaifaba was found in the public pond of Kuyatong yesterday. The GSC has said that the dead body will not be accepted until those guilty of killing Yaifaba are not booked and given befitting punishment. Protest demonstration will be staged around Singjamai tomorrow. Convener of the JAC, S. Mandini, said Mutum Yaifaba had been missing since he left home alone along with three friends on September 13 last. The dead body will not be accepted until the facts are found, the convener aided. <laughs> Angry residents of Langol area blocked Lumpel police station to seize the hospital road and all Langol areas against not taking up repairing work since early morning today. The road blockade imposed by Langol Maite Travel upon Balob has greatly affected Langol area and the activities relating to Caesar Hospital. A confrontation occurred between the police and the protesters too. Later, exemption was initiated for medical related services from the purview of the road blockade. A representative of the loop said the residents of the area are facing untold hardship as the roads were started repairing but left attended. He warned that instant forms of agitation will be launched if the repairing work of the roads is not taken up at the earliest. <laughs> And now the top stories once again. 43rd the Foundation Day of Amju Observe. As long as threat to media remains, facts will remain elusive, says Chief Minister Okram Ibobi. And Arunachal Chief Minister P. Makhandu quits Congress with 43 party MLAs and launches People's Party of Arunachal. Well, thank you so much for joining with us.